Morning. If your 4th of July menu needs some help, we've got you covered. Jill Sharp is here. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I thought this would be a good idea, but <laughs> she's making ribs, you guys, and it is unbelievable. The LakeKitchen.com, and I've already broken into the ribs. This is really good. Okay, well, we'll share it with everyone else now. Okay. Okay. So the first thing I like to start out with, with is just a, kind of a red, white, and blue theme of a drink, some kitty punch, mm -hmm. um, some chips and salsa, and you can get these red, white, and blue chips at the grocery store, festive. Mm, very easy. And then our ribs, which you have enjoyed yourself. Mm -hmm. well, we'll show you how you make those. So we just got baby back ribs, and these are two racks, and I, we are going to start here with a nice spice rub. About a fourth of a cup each of um, black pepper, chili powder, and smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. Two teaspoons of garlic and two teaspoons of salt and a teaspoon of sugar. So simple, just let that meld together. And then what you're going to do is just sprinkle that on top of your uncooked ribs. Okay. You're going to bake those um, in foil in your oven for about three hours or so at 300 degrees, mm -hmm. low and slow. So then the barbecue sauce, which is going to go on after the three hours, okay. is the winner here is our dry fly whiskey. And this is a local whiskey from Spokane, actually. Oh, really? And all the ingredients are local from the Palouse. Their wheat is what they get. So mm -hmm. very nice. And we're going to use about three tablespoons of that, you know, give or take a tablespoon or two. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then ketchup. So I'm going to pop about, actually, a whole bottle of ketchup in there. Um, you know, a nice tomato-y flavor, so that'll be perfect. And a couple zhuzhes of Worcestershire and stone ground mustard. Just a little bit of that in there is perfect. And, you know, barbecue sauce is sweet. Mm -hmm. Add a little bit of the sweetness in there with the brown sugar. Balsamic vinegar. The oh, wow. um, vinegar actually really adds some nice body to it. And last but not least, we're going to add um, minced onion and garlic. So what you do there, mix that around, put it on your stovetop about 10 minutes later, you're eating barbecue ribs. A lot of people are intimidated about making those sauces, but uh -huh. it doesn't look that complicated. No, does it? it really isn't. Once you get a good recipe, especially barbecue sauce, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you can make such great flavors with what you throw together. And a lot of people have all this stuff in their kitchen. Mm -hmm. So really easy. So we have our ribs ready to go. Okay. And then what we're going to accompany them with is, uh, this is my red, white, and blue cheese potato salad. And actually, these are purple potatoes, but I'm trying to use them as blue. Mm -hmm. So we have red potatoes, white potatoes, and blue potatoes that we've roasted in the oven with a little bit of olive oil for about 35 minutes at 425. Oh, cool. And then blue cheese, about a cup and a half. And then this is uh, creme fraiche. And creme fraiche is similar to um, sour cream. It's kind of a French style, so it's not quite as tangy. And then that's mascarpone. So okay. um, we're going to go ahead and mix that together. Get a really nice mix on it. And then just of apple cider vinegar. Okay. And like I said, same with the vinegar there. It adds a nice little, um, what is that kind of flavor? That's, uh, the smells, it's just wonderful. There. Yeah. So that is going to be good to go. And then what you do is you just top, top it on here. Oop. And, and then mix it all up? Mix it all up, but you want to add some greenery to it. So okay. we're going to add, this is Italian parsley and green onion. And then you just take that and, yeah, toss it all together there. Wow, that and is cool. And it's really easy. Sometimes things get away from you, but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> toss that all together, and you have a great potato salad ready wow, to go. that is cool. Great to make ahead of time as well. So okay. that's really nice. And then here we have a, um, a Stars and Stripes tomato salad. And blueberries, little grape tomatoes, and then these are little tiny mozzarella balls. Nice. And we're going to do a dressing for that as well. So this is white balsamic vinegar, mm -hmm. a little pinch or two of salt, a smashed garlic clove, and a little bit of lemon juice. And then what we want to add is a little bit of sweetness to it. So this is agave uh, nectar, and it's all over the store. So you can do about a half a teaspoon of that just wow. to have a background of sweetness. Mm -hmm. A couple cracks of pepper and some olive oil. Get that going and mix that around. I like to leave this um, marinating just a little bit for the garlic flavor if you want a little bit heavier on the garlic. If not, then go ahead and just pop these two cloves out of there. Whoop. And then drizzle it over the top of your salad. Wow, that looks really good. Yes, and then of course a little bit of basil to accent the flavors, and then you just toss that all together. Wow, what and a great And same idea. thing here is you can toss this all together, put these two in the fridge, and so when you're ready to serve your party, everything's ready with you.
And then, okay, here's the uh, the fireworks. <laughs> so these are um, actually just vanilla cupcakes that mm -hmm. I made. And what I did was take the cupcake, and this is um, the end of a turkey baster. So you just push it in here, and it creates that nice little hole in there, which oh, then wow. leaves us to take a, a Ziploc bag like this, cut a hole in the end, mm -hmm. And we are going to fill up our cupcakes. Just a little jelly filled right yeah, through there. Yeah, just a little jelly oh, filled cupcake. Idea. Yeah, so just perfect like that. And then you just, I have a um, cream cheese frosting. Mm -hmm. Cream cheese, powdered sugar, a little butter, and lemon. Top it off with. And then what you do is you just take berries. So I use blueberries. If you had blackberries, you could use those. Mm -hmm. Raspberries on top. And then, of course, these star fruit. You can get it at Wajmaya or um, a lot of Asian food stores carry that. And then... Okay. The grand finale. <laughs> well, it looks beautiful. And <laughs> thank uh, you. as usual, Jill, this I've never seen a salad like that, and the ribs are absolutely Good. great. So Good. thank you. Happy thank Fourth. You. Jill Sharp, thanks for stopping by. You can check out Jill's recipes at q13fox.com. Click on the food section of our lifestyles page or thelakekitchen.com. Yep, okay. definitely. Lily, back over to you. Bring some food back, please. Thank you very much.